Hi all, my name is Mark, and this is a monitor. The OC Megamon 15-inch 800-nit HDR studio monitor to be exact. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about why a field monitor like this is good for business. Mark. So if you're in the business of video production, then it's no surprise you're going to need gear. Now what gear you need may vary wildly from one production to another. Is yours a minimalist shoot or a uh, not so minimalist shoot? Minimalism. It's so hot right now. Is it still hot? Field monitors are one of those purchases that may fall into the not so minimalist category. But depending on what the needs of the production are, can add heaps, especially ones this size. Now, because this is a 15 inch monitor, it's not really meant to be used as a primary camera operator monitor, simply because it's a little too big. Most operator monitors are much smaller, either five or seven inches, because they offer a good balance between size and weight when mounted to a camera rig. Not that you can't use this as a camera monitor, it's just not how I would use it personally, but by all means. Now where I think a monitor like this really comes in handy is when used as either a client monitor or a director monitor, which you can set up away from your main camera rig. And not only does this offer a bigger viewing space for those individuals to fawn over your frame, but best of all, it helps move bodies away from the physical camera setup. Less bodies outside the camera crew around an expensive camera setup is a good thing. There are other ways for clients to monitor the action, but rather than have them use their own phones or handing them smaller monitors, it's nice to have a dedicated place in a comfortable location for them to enjoy the hurry up and wait nature of production. Pretty sure they'll appreciate it tenfold, and a happy client is always good for business. Now I should mention that to maximize this type of use, an additional form of wireless transmission is required, which allows the camera unit to be completely free of additional cables and clutter. Nothing worse than having an extra long HDMI or SDI cable bridging the gap between the monitor and the camera. I guarantee you it will get run into. OC did reach out to me and ask if I would give my thoughts on the monitor itself. And because I'm a big fan of field monitors in general, I thought, why not? So here we are, me giving you my thoughts. And to start, let's quickly go over what the monitor comes with. Now the Megamon 15 does come nicely packaged with a travel case so it's protected when in storage or when traveling to and from location. The case can actually be mounted to a C-stand and doubles as a sunshade if you're shooting outside. And 800 nits is bright but can be a bit of a challenge when in direct sunlight so this is a great solution that provides both protection and additional functionality. It also comes with a C-stand adapter and a cheese plate that you can mount on the back to either side of the monitor for additional rigging like a wireless transmitter. Desktop feet are also included for easy tabletop mounting, and of course a power cord for AC power, and a battery plate, either a V-mount or gold mount versions, depending on which one you purchase, with a D-tap to DC in cable for battery operation. Now this is the beta version of the monitor, and I'm told that the final release version will have a mounting handle on top. Now the back of the monitor has two SDI inputs and a single SDI output, it's also got HDMI port as well as video in option depending on your input signals. Now on the front of the monitor, you've got control buttons as well as function buttons for saved setting profiles. There's also a USB input for LUT loading and firmware updates. The monitor itself has a bunch of professional monitoring features like focus peaking, zebras, histograms, vectorscopes, audio levels, and false colors that you can customize with the function buttons depending on what you need to monitor at any given time. Now, I do like having those function buttons to be able to quickly call up my top used monitoring features without having to navigate the bigger menu system. Just push for on and push for off. The menu system is fairly easy, but like any menu system, it takes a bit of getting used to, but overall, not too bad. The image is quite bright at 800 nits and holds up pretty much at any viewing angle. The HD image does look sharp. It's tricky to showcase when recording the screen, but it looks good. It also comes loaded with a number of different camera color presets. And of course, you can always load your own LUTs so that the monitored image can look a little closer to the final look you're going for. Now, I don't notice any type of lag when plugged directly into the monitor via HDMI or SDI, and pretty much no lag when transmitting over wireless signal. And of course, a big part of the latter depends on your actual transmitter latency, plus additional signal interference that might be present at the time of recording. Now I did have a few shoots I was going to use this monitor with to do some cool behind the scenes, but we got locked down again. And due to restrictions, those productions got pushed back a few months, which is a bummer. 
I can't stand not having relevant viz to cut away to when talking about things. Oh well, my fictional setups will have to do. Now for me, this monitor strikes the perfect balance of convenience and functionality. 800 nits is plenty bright for most of the stuff I shoot, which is almost always in a more controlled setting where lighting is our own. But it is still bright enough to use outside in daylight, especially when you've got the case mounted with the monitor. Now I love that it comes with this protective case and that's one less purchase I need to make and it's already designed for this monitor specifically. So if you are looking for brighter options, OC does have a seven inch 3000 nit monitor, the G7 and T7, as well as the monster 21 inch field monitor, which offers 1500 nits. All right, give me one more push in. A monitor this size can also be quite effective for first ACs who might be focus pulling. Focus pulling itself is a skill, but having a bigger monitor to visually track focus is definitely easier. That's the one. Thank you. You're welcome. Now what I like about these OC options is they make monitors like this relatively affordable. And part of the reason I wanted to get this video out sooner is because OC are currently offering it at 769 down from 1199. It's an introductory rate and will likely go back up at some point. So just keep that in mind if you're in the market today. Links in the description, but not an affiliating, so I'm not getting paid to promote this. It's just cool tech at a great price. For now, tech doesn't age well. Tomorrow we'll have other options, I'm sure. So bottom line on this thing, if you're in the market for a production field monitor that's not too small, not too big, but just right, this one might be the one to look into. It's not too expensive and offers loads of professional functionality that should stand up to whatever you throw at it. Figuratively speaking, don't actually throw anything at this monitor. Goes without saying. The best of all, I love having a mobile monitoring solution for both my clients as well as myself and the team. If the client is happy and comfortable, well, so am I. Plus, I mean, some of the best ideas stem from a creative collaboration session where everybody's looking at the same image and discussing spontaneous ideas. You know the type creative jam sessions. They're great. They're great. All right, so those are my reasons a monitor like this is good for business. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, happy to answer. Links to the monitor are in the description. Hopefully you can snake one at this intro promo price. Mm. Thanks as all for watching and we'll see you next time. Video on this thing is coming soon. I'll tell you when. Are you already recording? I am recording, yeah. All right, so give me a nice, slow, good push in. Slow? Mm -hmm. Nice, perfect. I lost it there. I lost it there. Why is my bad? Keep that speed. Perfect. Do it again. Come back.